Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. stop you know how i always enjoy watching all of you play the king is always so generous with his words you spoil your palace attendants with overindulgence my king what is life worth without the happiness of people my queen have you wondered why kutasi kingdom is blessed natural resources <laughs> that makes it one of the wealthiest kingdoms in the world hmm. you tell me my king because over the ages Kutasi kings have been trusted with good hearts enough to take very good care of their people hmm. yet there's this curse that is silently bellies in the bosom of this royal household my dear, red deeds a million stars that cast a cloud of envy upon the sky. Every time I set my eyes on you, the reason my heart cannot help beating faster than its rhythm. Every time I come in contact with you, such glowing, flowery words I trust for prizes tickle in the ears of my elder sister. She's the one you've found your heart. Forget your sister. My love wallows in self debasement and I have vowed my heart to her in blindness. Besides, she doesn't match her gait and elegance to compliment me as the future king of Zazo Kingdom. Such a goods. To stand in the middle of Kutasi Palace and speak so to your get really of the Kingdom Princess Royal? I speak not in follows in my fair princess. Besides, gems the say measured in value, and only fools settle for bronze when diamond is right here before me. Did you make a face at me just now? Imagine that I'm blind. 
I, I, I didn't do such a thing. My business. Trust me. that lures out the stars of the moonlight dance. Beautiful pride of our kingdom. Please show your good heart of mercy. Do not allow this mere stupid idiot spoil your beautiful day. Mm. I see it's not all dumb skulls we have for them. I warn you, my sister's jealousy bears the anger of a wounded tiger. I will be trapped in a loner's girl, well complimented with the elegance of a gazelle, than worry about the anger of a wounded tiger. Mm. Mm. I must confess, you got an arrogance you can with a flair that I admire. Uh -huh. Confess it all, Tim William. Your heart longs for me also, as mine longs for you. Your heart must do you great injustice if it can so deceive you. Kotasi tradition does not afford me the luxury of longing for any man as long as my elder sister remains unmarried. Your sister's haughty and demeaning disposition is not going to attract a light and shining eye. Anytime soon. consequences so long that I have the assurance that your heart belongs to me. I will wait with you, my love. But well, I'm not waiting with you. Get out. Tamulia! Sword, 
claim whatever treasure you have on me, for my heart no longer longs for you. You manipulative scoundrel! Treachery, my lead describes your mischievous trying with my heart! This ends here, right now! Come on, stop! Wipe those unprofitable tears off your face. They won't flush the untold turmoil. Your untamed anger threatens to bring upon this kingdom should the prince dies. Mother, I will stab those conjurers over and over again. I weep only because of the, the secret hearts the gods have inflicted deep into my heart. Mother, I didn't do anything. I didn't I'm even ashamed that I gave birth. God! She is dead in prostitute like you. Would you always slander me with interrogatory situations? You think you have the cause to open your foul mouth in such a shameless self defense? How I regret not letting that, that knife slice through your throat! How I regret it! You went up to your father and returns and find out how you sneak that vagabond into this palace and consult in an amorous relationship with him. But I didn't do anything like that. I didn't encourage Prince Eiko. I'm not even in love with him. Your royal status is even undignified with such a lie. I said, mother, I'm even pushed to question that you inherited your genes from this family. Mother! Who else knows about Prince Echo's presence in this palace? I'm not sure. He came on a company all announced and my two maids attended to him. Get out! Get out! <laughs> We can take chances. Now you go and freshen up and change this blossed interest. Hurry!
Is everything all right? You look flushed out, my queen. Anxiety over your trip caught a little banging in my head. I admit, I'm fine. Good. My princesses wouldn't even come to welcome their father from a very long trip. How I used to enjoy the warm, welcome embrace of my family. Your queen welcomes you. Thank you, my lord. We will keep our fingers crossed. I have done my best.
Dear my good friend Mufasa, I know this is also a kingdom in no way measures to the world and splendor to Kutashi Kingdom. But I hope that uh, the little gift we brought here today will be appreciated as a bond of friendship to what we've come to request today. <laughs> a Kutasi kingdom, the values of friendship far beyond every wealth. My good friend, you are once again welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You already know what informs our presence. We've come to formally make our intention known. Uh, where is our inestimable jewel? Oh, patience. <laughs> patience. <laughs> My soon to be in law. <laughs> Your precious jewel will soon be here. say such abominable words. The princess won't refuse to honor her betrothed. Now you go back there and fetch her at once. Get out! Hurry! Get out! Where is she? She will soon be here. Oh, don't give me those fake words. The earth will soon complete its circle and yet you is not here to welcome her prince and um, his royal highness. What nonsense! Please, the table is set. She will join us there. <laughs> yes, <laughs> dinner. <laughs> dinner. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where is the princess? Fools never stop asking stupid questions, do they? What did they say about the stubborn flight? They refuse to obey instructions. I bet the princess will draw her in the stream this time. Oh, I was say. You get too quick to, to sound the alarm. You could have allowed her to go meet her fate. Nonsense. 
Please, let's go. Prince, your guest room is ready. Something doesn't just add up. My queen, my family feels insulted by this undignified treatment from a princess that is expected to become the future queen of Zazwa Kingdom. Believe me, my prince, this is quite unusual of my daughter. I am terribly ashamed by this embarrassment. The feeling of the embarrassment is mutual. Please plead with your parents for a little more patience. You will certainly meet with your princess in the morning. It's been a long day. I suggest you retire with your parents for a well deserved rest. I think I'll rather soak in a little more of the evening breeze. I will take a stroll. Okay then. I will instruct one of my guards to accompany you. No. I've heard of Kutasa's peaceful and secured environment. I have no doubt that I will be fine. What do you see whenever you look at me? I see a lovely self-assured woman is that all well in addition you possess the aura to compliment a strong king you are not as handsome as i expected <laughs> well i apologize if my looks do not match your expectations but unfortunately i do not have the magic wand to reshape myself princess myla you insult me with such sarcasm. And you excite me with such sense of humor. Don't patronize me, Prince Amy. I thought you came here to win. Well, you make win your very, very huge challenge. Then you are not worthy. I hate weakness for men. You are beneath me. You insult me? You dare insult me? I am the prince, remember? Hair apple run to the great throne of Zazwa Kingdom. You of the miserable, poverty stinking wasteland of Zazwa? Dare talk to me about your greatness? Now let me remind you. You are standing before my the Princess Royal of the Great Kutasi Kingdom, the richest and the most powerful kingdom in the four ends of this region. You can be my man's servant here. You know, you irritate me with such arrogance. Your attitude today was utterly despicable. You embarrassed not just your father and I, but the entire Kutasi Kingdom. If the Prince of Zazwa is man enough, he would know how to properly woo a lady, not to just walk in here with his entire family and summon me as if I were another of their slaves back home. If you weren't my daughter and a princess, I would say you're out of your mind. Exactly, mother. I am a princess, deserving respect, even from the prince of Zara. Royal engagements have no place for special wearing of a bride. The prince have accorded you as much respect as a princess would deserve, that I know of. But you would rather saw your chances with indignity, unworthy of a princess. I have not given him my consent, mother. So he has no right to come initiating rights on my head. 
No man can have me such a way, whether he's a prince or not. Your ego and arrogance have proved to be your Hercules heel. How many more suitors will your stupid pride deny you of? Brother, don't go there. My pride has nothing to do with me losing my other suitors. Go and ask your, your, your flirtatious daughter. Prince Echo is a perfect prince for any princess. Is Tamulia in any way more beautiful than I am? Why is she the one getting all the attention when I was the one that came out first? You are equally an elegant gazer of a beauty with the eyes that reach deep to charm the best of nature's sparkle. And that is why the prince is dying for you. I can never get carried away again, mother. I want to see him truly long for me. That is what makes a woman feel wanted, and that is what I want from the Prince of Sazo. Greetings, my princess. Your Majesty asked me to serve you in here. As a common prisoner. A common prisoner always locked up in here whenever a suitor comes for my sister's hand in marriage. Right? You are not a slave, my princess. Your beauty is nature's pride that you should have no regrets of whatsoever. But you have to eat, my princess. You've not had anything since yesterday. Tell me, Solera. Is it fair? Is it fair for one to be a slave to one's looks? Is it fair? You are not a slave, my princess. Your beauty is nature's pride. You should have no regrets of whatsoever. Don't worry. Once the Prince of Zazwa fulfills his marital traditions to your sister, everything will be alright. What do you know? My princess, you have to eat. You know your condition. Please, take it away. Just try and eat a little Leave me alone! Leave! Okay. How much more humiliation will you subject us to? In the hands of this, your so-called choice. Princess Myla is an enemy. I am sure she will make a good queen. I have met her, and there is nothing that qualifies that arrogant and saucy girl for a good choice. Thank you. It's for her same insolence that my sister refused to come with us. If not for Kotsi, I would have given her the peace of my mind. You assess her very, very much. Any princess who so disrespects her kingdom's royal guest can never make a good queen. I have not joined all the way here because I found a potentially good queen for my kingdom. We almost fix our eyes on the price. How can I be surprised at you? You would lick a mega spittle just because she bears a high price. A king must do what a king needs to do. For him to expand the flourish of his kingdom. Oh yes. I will not bear any more insults from this land till daybreak. Send me a card. Hey, no more this insult. Hey, no more this insult. Look, I give orders here, and you all must be a long time with me. Carry it. Prince, you've been quiet all evening. Are you alright? My head is so beclouded right now, mother.
we shall be returning to this one can I can understand your disappointment, my good friend. But I implore you to stay a little longer. Perhaps you did not want to give the hand of your daughter in marriage to the prince of Zazma in the first place. No, you melt my reputation with such insinuation. Ah, King Kumaya, I thought you know me better than this. I'm no longer sure of what I know in this regard. Greetings, Your Highnesses. Princess Mana, you look stunning. <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. Please accept my humble apology for my insolence. I should have come to welcome you yesterday, but for a little fever. I was ashamed of you seeing me in that uh, sunny state. I'm sorry. It's all right. Seeing you right now makes up for the wait. Come. Sit with me. Would you sit? I'm sure you slept well, please. Show you the answer to that question. Come on, Prince. The princess is apologetic. Well, that's all things are to my apologies. Um. So you haven't had anything since yesterday? Uh, I'm not hungry. My princess, are you okay? That is soon to be your wife with some delicate terms. I will not marry her father. I mean, she's given me every reason to prove the fact that she's not a virgin. How would you know? She, 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 she. Tales of her promiscuity are like scattered petals all across the region. Just last night, she threw herself at me like some cheap whore. You pretend that this thing you told me never happened. Father. Yes. Come on. It could be that the princess was only trying you. And if you had blown it up, she wouldn't have shown at the dining table. You think about that? Dad, I've been doing a whole lot of thinking all through last night. I mean, I saw her yesterday shamelessly frolicking with a local boy. What? She, she, she claims he was his cousin, but I know Ben's on his family very well. 
The same boy that supplies his palm fruits from this kingdom. My goodness. You are bent on tarnishing the reputation of the princess, aren't you? Father, is that the reputation you know of your son? I will not dishonor the Zazwa throne by presenting it with a future queen that has that turned herself into a public toy. You think about that, Father. Um, I agree. Um, that changes all equations. But we must not raise an alarm in Otashi Kingdom. We must live as we have already informed the king. Huh? Let the alarm do their out in their own way. Okay. Thank you, Father. Where is Miranda? Oh, she's alone. Okay. This is a surprise, my good friend. I thought you sorted things out having met with the princess. Our living has nothing to do with the princess, I assure you. No doubt the hospitality of yesterday was great despite the minor ages. Well then, why the hurry? We were already set to return, my good friend. But don't worry, I will let you know as soon as the wedding date is set. Oh. Yeah. There's no problem, I assure you. Everything is fine. Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> I assure you. That's all. <laughs> um, my prince, please can I talk to you outside with you? Let me start by thanking you for not exposing to my parents what you saw of me yesterday. Whatever happened yesterday is absolutely none of my business. Please don't go. I'm sorry for everything. Honestly, I'm at lost. I, I don't know what came over me. I'm sorry. There is nothing to be sorry about, Princess. Remember you told me in clear terms that I was beneath you. You've also gone ahead to prove that in very clear terms. I love you, my prince. The future queen of Zazwa Kingdom's virginity shall be deflowered by the grown prince. I have absolute doubt that she you qualify. Please wait. Please let me go, please. Let me go, please. Who exactly are you? Let me go. Please let me go. I mean, nobody. You didn't see me. I'm just a common maid. Please let me go. You cannot possibly be a maid looking so majestic and glamorous. You look so adorable. You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Please, reserve your venom for that. That, that is 
You disobeyed your mother and I, Temulia. The bottom, the loneliness, it was choking me, Father. I, I just had to step out for the hour of the evening breeze. Fault. I know. But why? 
why men keep flocking to your side in preference to your elder sister is what I don't understand. Uh, I wish I could just go away. Maybe settle down somewhere far away from this kingdom so I don't keep coming in the way of my elder sister. You know why you can't leave this palace just yet, my daughter? I know. I know, father. For you, your marriage is tied to your elder sister's rite of first passage, and you know it. Sometimes I wish I could just curse these traditions that have forced my heart into slavery in my own kingdom. again like a bird to caress the wind in flight once your elder sister is given out in marriage. She needs a lot of prayers because her situation is more complicated than she knows it. Huh? So you don't worry my dear. It is well. Remove, remove it, remove it, remove the bits. Yes, Atapo, speak up, leave us. Tell me why you shouldn't be punished for keeping mute. My queen does me great injustice. Settling the maids, Tamara and Isofe, with so much wealth and freedom, yet I'm abandoned here to languish in servitude. I have no power to set you free. You are the king's personal slave. You are not even elevated to the enviable status of palace attendant. He would raise eyebrows that I can't defend. I know, Your Majesty. I'm a debt paid to His Highness by my late father for his unforgivable crime against Kutasi Kingdom. You see, you can't leave Kutasi Kingdom. That leaves me double cheated, my queen. You are in no position to complain about how you're treated in this palace. Does anyone ever treat you like a slave in this palace? Do we? No, Your Majesty, but... Get out. Your Majesty. Get out! Yeah, yeah. 
Please don't allow this event to weigh you down. To avoid heart issues, please. My heart has no control over the weight of these events, Jimena. <laughs> the chief priest just left here. The chief priest? What did he come here for? The princess turns 30 in two months' time. And if she does not find a husband before then, the ancestral curse will be fucked on her. What ancestral curse? There's some traditional facts. We are kept away from you, my queen. Who would have thought it would ever come to this? What facts? What is going on, my king? Have you ever wondered why your first daughter was not circumcised? That Temulia was. The priest said the gods forbid that the king's first daughter be circumcised. For a purpose. What purpose? Speak fast, my king, and stop pricking my senses. It is an ancient standing tradition of Kutasi. Only the rightful husband can circumcise the king's daughter on the night that she proves her virginity. Only her pure and unadulterated blood who can quench uh, the test of her ancestors. My daughter is a virgin. I can verge my life on this. You don't understand this, my queen. If this blood sacrifice is not done before she is 30, she will become a sacrifice to the ancestors and no Daughter of the king shall ever hear. What stupid tradition is this? What rubbish! No one of mine has been for sacrifice! No one of mine! Baby, I won't leave you alone, okay? Just hear me out, I beg you. There's no point, okay? I loved you with all my heart, and all you could conjure to hurt me in return. Baby, I'm so sorry, okay? You know how difficult Princess Myla could be, alright? She forced me into having an affair with her. I mean, what would you have me do? Report her? What about her being sweet? Oh, you should have seen the way she and her friend brutalized and humiliated me the other day, all because of you. Sweet, I'm so sorry, okay? Abinsu? You know she's not my type. I can never have anything to do with Abinsu. I can never date her, okay? What is this secret idol meeting for? Don't you two have something important to do at your station? Sorry, my princess. Why are you still standing there? Uh, hey, come back here. My princess. What were you discussing with that new life? I hope you have not spilled out our secret liars in time. No, my princess. Then you must be having an affair with her. My princess. Quiet. Now listen to me. I will not tolerate sharing my body with a new life who consult with an ordinary maid. Is that clear? My princess. My body longs for you tonight, but we can no longer meet in my room. That's not safe now, so I will find any place. Help. 
My precious, I can no longer receive gift from you. I don't remember asking if you could. And you have it. Remember who helps your life. You ingrate. Dare you set your foot in Kutasi Kingdom after my king has bound your family? I may not disrespect your majesty, but it was my understanding that the embargo was only for my father and the prince. What do you want? I seek my brother. I don't understand. Your Highness, the prince of Zazwa is missing. And what has that got to do with Kutasi Kingdom? I am unaware of any truce between your father and I to warrant your visit. Please forgive my audacity, Your Highness. I only came to inquire if my brother, the Prince of Zazwa, is here. As a prisoner, I suppose. Your Highness, is he? Your brother proved himself to be a big fool. But I doubt if he would be foolish enough to just set his foot here again. I am not one to visit the iniquities of the parents and the children. So, I forgive your stupid intrusion. Now leave immediately. Get out! Don't Prince Echo alive and Sasso as I instructed, didn't you? I'm sorry, Your Highness. You gave up the ghost before you could make it to Sasso. You? You didn't bother to inform me? My understanding was that the issue was no longer subject for further discussion, my queen. And the body? Buried. I thought that was what you would like me to do. Damn it. You should have dumped the body in Sazwa, just as I instructed. I'm sorry, Your Highness. You're sorry? Did I hear you say sorry? Do you know the implications of what you did? I did not keep Prince Eko, my queen. Just pray that this does not explode on our faces. If only you know what is about to explode in your face. Did I reach a threat of blackmail? I speak only of injustice, my queen. Get out! 
I'm glad that you're well now. Thank you. But I'm not here to see you. Oh, my apologies. Who are you here to see? <laughs> the princess. Maya? That must be her name. <laughs> my beautiful princess. You are here to see who? You regrettable blunder of the ghost. My love. I'm glad you're here. I went through a lot coming here to find you. My princess, you're beautiful. Who left this place into this palace? Who? I don't know, my princess. See, my princess, I'm a prince. I have my own kingdom. I'm yet to marry you. <laughs> my prince. Slap him. Slap him! How dare you, you talk to the princess? I'm a prince! I'm a prince! I'm a prince! I'm a prince! Place. The green vessel is nowhere to be found. You are a fool. You can't even accomplish a simple assignment. I've come the entire kingdom. I've searched everywhere. I've ransacked your entire place and it's nowhere to be found. You are very stupid. You know what? Join her. Huh? Yes. For denying me the pleasure of seeing them both. Join her. Lie down. <laughs> She's the way to obtain that status. Father, please calm down. I beg of you. Great king of Kutasi, Zauzma will never disrespect your kingdom. 
we've only come to ask for favor, which we believe is in your hands only to help. Saswa lost every claim to favor from the kingdom the day your prince, your brother, defiled his royalty in this palace. Would that have been the reason for his adoption? What? My father meant to say that you help us with information on the whereabouts of my brother. Your sister was already informed that your brother, the prince, is not in this kingdom. True, His Majesty. My sister was here. But that information, we believe, was prompted hastily by anger. Who asked the king to help us make proper inquiries from his subject. Please help the princess. Princess Mela will kill her sister. I accord you the respect that your maturity deserves. Now, bundle your father and your mother out of my palace and out of this kingdom. Make sure they're out of this palace. You will stay here for me. You will stay here for me. Make sure they are out of this kingdom. Make sure they're out of this kingdom. Look at you. In the glory of all the world. Between you, the gods and the kings. Who is more than the gods now? Huh? Stop! Stop! <laughs> what is this? Myla. Mother ordered that I do to her as I pleased. You have pleased yourself enough. Okay, get up. Your Majesty, get her out of here now. Fat. Simara, go back in. Go back in. I will teach your mouth how to stop running. Go back in. My good friend, I didn't know that you are now a hunter. I only come around here to get roasted bushmeat. You know, those people that eat bushmeat are bushmen. So I am now a bushman. You don't seem to amuse me. So where are you coming from looking so rough like this? <laughs> My friend, you can't imagine what befalls me. Tell me. Hmm. Prince, no crap. <laughs> was my handled by a command of a princess. Princess of which kingdom? Mm, mm, one place. You know, I don't know their, their names. Nobody has the right to maltreat a disabled man like you. <laughs> it's all for love. I am not angry. <laughs> I have found a wife. <laughs> <laughs> my friend, you have a strong spirit. Like one of the widest animals in these bushes. I am an animal. It's only an animal like I can handle my wife. So now you're an animal, not a bushman. I was thinking of sharing this with you, but I'm not going to share with you. <laughs> <laughs> my friend, you know, that was a liver is good for my condition. <laughs> Nobody seems to win you. Can have it. Oh, my <laughs> friend. Thank you very much. I was ready for my wedding. <laughs> Sensitive. Last week, my queen. 
since I I can't have the benefit of being settled with the fortune, I, I, I can only request for a compensation of equivalent value. And I said you should name it. The princess. As my conclusion. What? <laughs> Madness has suddenly sown a seed in your head. The cost of my silence was never going to be cheap. If I will be sure from me, I will set your mouth at peace. And from where did you acquire this boldness? Blackmailing the princess and I can tell you an instant death. Shut up! You bloody slave. How dare you speak when I'm talking? You can kill me, your majesty. Then I will tell the king myself. And you will pay daily for your insolence. Now get out. Get out! Why are you sitting there? Bloody slave. Who's that? Uh, I, I thought you were taking care of this situation. I thought I did. My goodness. What do we do now? Okay, but you are not going to tell Father. I can't even think. I, I, I can't think. I'm losing it. Oh my God. I'm scared. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that treatment I gave you. No need, my princess. I am nothing but a pig with you. And a pig deserves nothing less than what I got. I never knew there could be a day that I, the princess royal of the great Kutasi kingdom, could condescend to begging an ordinary palace attendant. You are indeed privileged, Boke. Privileges are not meant for a mere attendant like myself or my princess. They are not meant for me. Not for me. Privileges are worth more than treasures to help you build a fortune and to stand like a man. Here, one of my most expensive treasures, I'm sure is a worthy compensation for my indiscretion. Samara, please come! Listen, just give me some time. I promise I'll take us out of here. You have no moral to sense to make me any promises. Then listen, everything I do, I for a good of us. For the benefit of our future, please. I don't want to have Didn't I want to take your fitting hands away from my man? Didn't I?
keeping up everyone. This palace is going to be flooded with very important royal dignitaries. I want everywhere to be sparkling and clean. Is that clear? Yes, my royal majesty. Good. You can go back to your work. The palace salutation today seems to be rather good news for Kusasi Kingdom, my princess. The long-standing feud between the two most powerful kingdoms in this region has been buried. King Bolumba of Tura Kingdom coming tomorrow as a seal to the king. Mother, you know the regional politics of the kingdom has never been of any interest to me. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know. But guess what? What? Tura Kingdom has the most handsome crown prince you've ever seen. Hmm. Don't you think that she'll be of more interest to Tamulia? Tamulia would never set eyes on his prince, my dear. Oh, mother, I've heard that like a thousand and one times. Well, I know, but you can trust me on this one. I am so glad that you have waited for the right one, my princess. Mother, I have not waited for anyone. Till I see the right one who has waited for me. Mm -hmm. okay. I like that. <laughs> yes. Okay. Because I am the princess of this kingdom. I know. I cannot wait for any. That's my princess. <laughs> Let me go back to the princess. You shouldn't be bothering the king to use less things this afternoon. Go find yourself something meaningful to engage in, like others. He was about giving me information concerning Zazua Kingdom. Atapo has been peddling false things lately, my king. My queen, it looks like you already know what he was about telling me. I wouldn't even give ear to whatever rubbish he has to say, my king. Besides, Zazwa's kingdom problem shouldn't be of any interest. We should rather focus our attention right now on the very important visit of the Prince of Taura. Of course. I trust you are doing everything right. Sure, of course. I am. You trust me. That's <laughs> possible. <laughs> All right, let me go and take care of things. Oh, okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay. What was it you wanted to tell the king up there? I thought my queen had already told his highness about the murder. So it has become subject of free discussion. You dare? I only want my fair and just reward, my queen. Leave my daughter out of your madness. Stealing her virginity will cause their consequence in the entire Kutasi kingdom. My silence is also of equal consequences, my queen. You have threatened me with death. You can have any maid of your choice. I shall command as many as you desire. I want Princess Myla. You can have me. My queen. Yes. Since your just reward is a pleasure of the flesh, have me, because I would rather die than to see you set my daughter on the war path with the ancestors. Do 
It's a great pleasure, Your Majesty. As you so desire. You know your way too well how to sneak upstairs without causing attention. You don't by any stroke of imagination think that I will let that insolence you gave me the other day pass, do you? I do not care for anything anymore, Myla. Because of you, I have lost the love of my heart. What? You have the... You have the guts to call me by my name? You do not have a name other than the one given to a public dog. Let me tell you. I don't ever want to have anything to do with you ever again. It's over between us. It's over. You are finished. I will so, so deal with you that you will regret the day we, you were born. I will advise that my princess, my sweetheart, dress carefully. Otherwise, the king and the queen would love to know how I got to know about the moon. No private secret area. How do I have imagined that you will just You have had your price. This ends here. <laughs> the word I used was concubine. And the wise voice of my late father made me understand that the word also means cohabitation. You'll be damned for this. <laughs> I played my sweetheart, she would tread softly. Smelly here. The bed. I thought the maid dressed this bed this morning. Or did she? No, I'm sure. I'm sure she did. But why is he looking so okay? What's smelly here?
<laughs> Good day, my princess. Good day. Yeah. How you do? Fine, thank there you. you. Uh huh. Fariba, now that I remember, I think you will probably do one of those your signature hedges when I return. <laughs> I'm flattered, my princess. Thank you. I shall endeavor to replace you. I'm thank you, no doubt. Um, Samara, let my mother know I've gone for my evening stroll. Yes, okay. My My princess, you are not allowed to leave the palace Her Majesty's order. What? She said you should wait for her in your room until she returns. I'm so sorry. How does one tear away this furious feeling of bond torment my heart? I'm so sorry, my friend. Come, come to see me today. I'm so sorry I couldn't make it to see you today, my friend. You came alone? I thought you said words were that the royal household of Turea were coming. The prince is here. That's what matters, my dear. Okay. Greetings. King, Queen. You're welcome, my prince. You came alone? Well, my parents, the king and queen, are indisposed, but did not wish my trip any further delayed. I do convey their greetings. It's all good. <laughs> Please, come inside. That history can never cease to amaze me. How can one ever understand how beauty in itself can be a curse? What is beauty, Samira? What value is it to a heart that is being tortured by it? The humiliation, my princess. I'm not humiliated. This is where I truly belong. Maybe I'll find happiness in my freedom with all of you, mate. Tradition forbids you from leaving outside this palace. You can't stop me, Father. I swear, I'll find a way to leave this hell you call a palace. Oh, fine. Since it's become a bed, we shall see who has the authority in this kingdom. Mokke! Okay. Your Highness! Bundle her into the dungeon, where she remains until she gets back her senses. Now! Yes, my king! Bundle her! Yes, my king! Now! Get up, get up! Get up! Yes! 
to look at the princess's face. And then with fearless guts, you stand here and boast to me about it? I apologize, my princess. I didn't know it would offend the princess to know that her prince is very handsome. I'm sorry, my princess. Of course. Every prince must look handsome to a maid. Get out. Thank you for accepting my proposal. Like I assured you, it will be of very mutual benefit to our kingdoms. Indeed. I look forward to that mutual benefit, Your Highness. Thank you, thank you. Please eat your food. Thank you. Thank you very much, my princess. Wow. Indeed, you are very beautiful. No, I take that back. 
You are the most beautiful woman I have ever set my eyes on. Mm -hmm. mm. I have never seen my princess smile at a compliment. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 And I do hope that my princess wouldn't mind personally showing me around the beautiful sights of Kutasi Kingdom. Keep your fingers crossed. And that you, they are.